based in Belgium, Antwerp, and we were founded about four years ago. Now, the start of this company was based on the discovery that there are a lot of um, great challenges in this industry. And luckily, Johanna just explained all of them in much better detail than I ever could. So that's really helpful. Um, but some of the greatest challenges that, that we're facing in this industry is there's a huge war on content. And but what you might not know is that 97, uh, sorry, 87% of the movies actually lose money at the box office. And that is a really strange thing. We make so many movies and only one in 10 of them actually is financially viable. Why is that? Who's, who's making these decisions to make these movies? It turns out that there is also quite a big asymmetry in the industry, is that there is very few, very big companies who are actually making these decisions for the rest of the industry. It's the top 1% making these decisions. Um, and um, you'll be surprised to know that they actually use very little data to back up these decisions. They still make these decisions based on, on gut feeling and experience, just as they were 100 years ago. Um, and our mission at Scriptbook is actually to revolutionize this business, to introduce data using artificial intelligence, to make this, these decisions supported by data, and hopefully make better decisions. So I want to talk about three things in this presentation. The first is an analytical platform that we built that's going to help make these decisions uh, supported by data. The second is our take on automated story generation. And lastly, I want to talk about how we're going to use these two things in the future. So the first things that we built is an analytical platform. It's an online platform where you can upload your script, upload scripted content, and fully automatically, an AI, without any human intervention, is going to read your script, analyze it, and produce a series of outputs and make certain predictions about that script. So the outputs can be put into four categories. And the first one is um, a digital library. So we know that there's a lot of companies in this business that actually handle a huge amount of scripts, sometimes in the thousands of scripts. And since our AI um, is able to read the script, know what it's about, and attach certain metadata to it, this digital library allows companies to search and filter through their own content to find the content that they need. The second part is what we call the script DNA. And it's several outputs and predictions that concern the scripts or the story itself. It could be like the genre. We make predictions for the MPAA rating. We detect violence and emotions in your scripts. We look what the characters are like, who the protagonist is. And we also try to detect gender bias in your script. The third component is all about the audience. The audience is truly important when you're making movies. And so our AI is going to read the script and try to predict the gender and age split of your target audience as well as predict how people are going to react critically, review the, the, the movie once they see it, through ratings like IMDb ratings or Rotten Tomatoes ratings. And lastly, the AI is going to make a series of financial predictions. It's actually going to predict the sort of production budget that's usually associated with a script like this, and it's going to forecast what sort of box offices you might expect in countries around the world. Now, usually when I um, present this system, I like to give a live demo of this, but there's really no time for that today, unfortunately. So the next best thing I can do is give you this link, demo.scriptbook.io. You can go to this link, and it shows you the full analytical platform for a sample of 30 scripts with all of the outputs that I just explained. And there is no registration required. So if you're interested at all, please just go and check it out. So once we built that platform, where the script is the input, and we produce several outputs, that got us thinking. Can't we just turn that around? Why can't we have the script be the output of the system? Can't we generate content using artificial intelligence? Now, we're not the first company that came up with this idea. There's been several examples in the past years. And just to give one example, um, last year, Lexus actually released an ad that was completely written by an AI. It was, however, directed by humans and produced by humans, directed by um, Kevin McDonald. But the, the story of the ad was completely written by an AI. Now, our intent is not to um, have an AI create fully featured movies from scratch without any human intervention. That is something maybe far in the future. But how we see it right now is AI more sort of as a co-creator, as an inspirator. So as an example, imagine you have, let's call him James. James is a, is a, is a writer, he's a content creator. And James has written a script up to a certain point. 
And the last sentence that James has written is, John walks into a bar, and then James had writer's block. And he had no more inspiration, he didn't know where to go. <laughs> Familiar feeling for most writers. Now how we see that is, we've built a, uh, a system that we call Deep Story. And Deep Story is gonna read everything that James has written up to this point, take into account what's happening, what the characters are like, what's the context. And Deep Story can generate plausible continuations for the story. So since John is walking into a bar, he might be waving at a bartender, just as an example. And Deep Story can generate these in the hundreds, in the thousands, as many as we like. And they could function as a sort of inspirator for the writer to overcome his writer's block. Now, that's where we are right now. We've created this analytical platform, and we've created Deep Story as a sort of inspirator. But now I want to take a moment to talk about the future, and how we see these two systems evolve to really revolutionize this business. Because at this point, both systems are actually sort of closed, in the sense that we have a customer uploading their script, and we give them back the analysis, and it's fully confidential, it's fully private per customer, and they never interact with each other. Now in the future, how we see it, is we want to develop an open marketplace. An open marketplace open to everyone, to every individual, not just big companies, where everyone can upload their script, get the script analysis that we provided in the first system as a way of validating your script using data instead of the gut feeling of someone at some big company. Now this is our take to try to democratize the industry a little bit, to take some of the decision making from these large companies and provide opportunity to everyone to provide a chance because as a content creator, you, you must know the feeling, it's, it's extremely hard to get your content to be even noticed by anyone. This open platform would allow you to have a sort of validation, validation through AI to show, hey, I have great content here. And then we could put you into contact with the, with the companies that can make your project into an actual movie. That's our goal for the future. Thank you for your time.